we're on our way to Namibia at last it's a beautiful morning this morning it's just gone six um, we're heading as far as Kenduri tonight um, we're gonna stay at a game lodge um, it's 12 kilometers just past Petrusburg past Blum um, weather's great um, probably take us about eight hours eh? yeah it's about 600 and something kilometers we're gonna go up through Winterton Bergville road hopefully the, the pass is okay
285 kilometers um, to go today so we're not in any great hurry it's quarter to eight at the moment very pleasant night here at Kenderi apart from the lines keeping us awake all night yeah and now they're sleeping they've been sleeping since six o'clock Lodge is quite full. Quite a few cars here. Right, we're just pulling over now to have some tea at the picnic site. 30 k's from Krikostad and there's a lot of they've had a lot of rain here you can see it looking into the bush where every little indentation there is there's water lying there and when we came through Campbell uh, there was actually water running fast on the side of the road it's almost like they just had rain but it's I don't think so Sellers, if you're desperate for some wine, Orange River wine. And they have wine tasting at the cellars here as well, but only during the week. Yeah, I think they close the weekends, I think. Eh? Yes, yeah. but we come back on a Monday, I think, so we could stop there on the way back. strong eh? yeah it's very wide yeah. and we're just gonna stop at engine here and put in a little bit of fuel fuel in Namibia is I think at this stage about three or four rand cheaper per litre so we'll just put enough to get us over the border make a sharp left turn onto N10 We've just arrived at uh, Kalahari Manata. It's on the left hand side of the road coming towards Kalahari. Uh, we're spending the night here before we go into Namibia tomorrow. Possibly spend the nights here when we come back, depending on whether Mata Mata borders open or not. If Martimata's open, we'll probably go through that gate. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. This COVID thing has put a jinx on everything, trying to organize it all. At least now we don't have to have our 
uh, PCR done because we've got our certificates and everything going in and out of Namibia and into Botswana. You just need to have your three jabs and that's fine. Eh? This is our campsite at Kalahari Manata. It's actually very nice. The ablutions are lovely and clean. Uh, I'm just not quite sure about the bird shit out of the trees we left to see tonight. But otherwise it looks very, very nice. Eh? Swimming pool. So you can relax if it's hot. We're just having a cup of tea. I'm busy putting the stone net on. Going into M Namibia. I'll show you another one when it's fully done. I've connected up on the trailer side. So it's basically the same on the other side of the trailer. But we'll show you more when we finished. It's all set for tonight. I don't think any lines around here, so we should have a good night's sleep. Lots of birds. Nice clean swimming pool. And even a slide for the kids. I'm really surprised at how this place is. Paul, you said just all in the sun then. It's great here. Got lots of shade where you are. Right, our stone guard is on. Both sides. Not as easy as I thought it would, but it's it's not it's not bad, eh? And that's basically the same both sides, eh? Now we'll just see the proof is in the pudding when we go to Namibia. Whether it does what I want it to do. That's the bra area. And there we've got electricity here and you've got a water tap right here and free and, Wi-Fi and free Wi-Fi and the water is drinkable so we're going to fill our tanks here going into Namibia and then the next time we're full we'll be at Spitzkopa this is the Ablutions Kalahari Manata The means really very clean inside. Eh? Showers times three and toilets times three. Like I say, it's really lovely and clean. Eh? Here's a playground for the kids if you have kids or grandkids. Right, that's a double. That's number one and number two together. Three and four, five and six I think, eh? Here's the telephone number. Like abdomen stalks, eh? Yeah, sure. Plenty of them. I wonder if they're after the grasshoppers. Look at them all in the field. Yeah. Oh. Must be eating the grasshoppers. I 
I don't know whether you can see here on the left hand side of the road uh, on the road and in the grass are these baby I think locusts or grasshoppers That's probably for what's the, eating them the crabs. crabs look at the crabs crabs are eating them eh? where the crabs have come from I have no idea they but there is just millions. millions and millions of locusts starting to turn and change typically Namibian style even though we're still in South Africa uh, we've got about 50 k's to go to the border it's quite green eh? yeah they've had loads of rain in Namibia so it's going to be very different this time border what's the South African side called? No. Nakop. No. So we've just come through the South African border in Narcops. We're on our way. It's 17 kilometers to the Ariams Flay Namibian border. Um, yeah, it took us about half an hour to get through, no problems. Terraceburg, 120 kilometers from here. Yep. But we're going to stop there at Woolies or whatever. Yeah. Okay, we've just reached the Namibian border now. Uh, Ariam's Flay. Let's hope we get through alright. Let's hope Not there's no problems. problems. I don't know where we park here. You just look for the car. No, there's a car over there. There's the pathfinder there. There's parking there. Uh, we've stopped just after the border at a picnic site uh, to make a cup of tea. We haven't had anything this morning since we left uh, Uppington. We'll have a nice cup of tea and something to eat. We just arrived in Carisburg. Fill up with fuel here, and Rose is going to go to Woolies to buy some food. Although they didn't check us for any food coming in, because we anyway we had prepared all our food, pre cooked Rose had pre cooked all our food, eh? so we just need some fresh milk. Eggs, cheese, cheese, and a couple of other things. That eh? yep. Hopefully, the diesel is cheaper. Which will help turn us. left onto Eighth Street, then take the second right. There's an engine over there, so we'll come back to do that. Yeah. Now you see that was. To Fleur's Drift, that's where we came in, I think. Jeez, Turn right the onto the unpaved road. Turn right onto the unpaved road. This must be the main street. Turn right. I seem to remember coming up that street. 
street yeah. unless it's a lookalike. Are you sure there's a Woolworths here? Because mm. <laughs> it doesn't look like to me. <laughs> Doesn't even look like that. Arriving at Woolworths Carisburg on the left. What? Uh, <laughs> You're recording that. Uh. Hmm. No. Right, we've just pulled up at uh, Carisburg. It was 18, sorry, 1783 per litre. 1796. Uh, sorry, 1796 per litre. It can cost us 2,099 rand and 52 cents. I think there's throughout the country is the same price, eh? Yeah. A hundred litres will save 270 rand. Okay, Master. Okay. Yeah. If we do what? On a hundred litres, I'm saying here. Yeah. You'll save 270 rand. Oh, you mean for when we fill up to yeah. go back? Yeah. It will fill the jerry cans as well. So yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. You'll save a lot. He says, but he's heard the fuel price are going up now. Shit. Yeah, the clouds look quite pretty here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There were some nice red sunset clouds behind that, or sun going down. It would be very, very pretty. Just an update on Carisburg. There's no Woolworths. So Rose doesn't know who she phoned when she got a hold of Woolworths. But there is a spa, but on a Sunday they closed at half past twelve. No, twelve o'clock. Was it twelve o'clock? Yes, and then they got a shop right which is in the street behind the garage and that closes at one o'clock. Okay, but we didn't go there. Right, we've just turned onto the C10 towards us uh, towards I I I I I which is the start of the Fish River Canyon. And the road looks like it's just been graded, which is great. It's dusty, but. This is the plague of locusts or grasshoppers. From before Uppington it's been like this and some have been flying. These guys have still got a quite a way before they start flying. As you can just see how many millions or trillions of these things there are. What a problem there will be for farmers, eh? Where there's crops that they can eat will be a major problem, I think, eh? And as far as I can see along the road here, and there are another 50 meters in this section, is just these guys, eh? The marching army. Rock 
formation on the right here is really beautiful, eh? Very, very pretty. Plastic bags allowed. Report to reception. Where's reception? Let's go down. Sure. Everything's done out of the river boulders, eh? It's like it got flooded, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Sure. These chalets are very nice too. Look at that. Which way? Nice, Natural know. hot springs. Extremely 66 degrees. Just keep straight. Yeah. 65 degrees. That's hot. Sure. That's boiling water. That is boiling. That's hotter, hotter than, than your mouth. our keys. <laughs> yeah. Beware of the baboons, so uh, this yeah. is where they camp. Warning, where do I go? Straight. I think you got to go. Oh, don't know where the reception is. Slowly. There's signs there. Service station. I'll pop in the trees here, yeah. I think. That's reception there. Yeah, the sideways kind of place. 